Well, hello and good evening and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 11th, 2020. Well, today politics is running its ugly head, but of course, when has that ever actually stopped, right? <clears throat> there are a lot of people out there that had high, high hopes for the $908 billion stimulus proposal put out there by the, um, what was it, the, the, the uh, bipartisan senators. But the two stimulus monsters are wringing their heads yet again. And no, I'm not referring to Nancy Pelosi or Mitch McConnell. I'm talking about state and local funding as well as liability protection. Those are two things that are actually holding up our current um, stimulus proposal because they have not basically come up with any ideas of how to get around those. The bipartisan wants to give six months liability protection. Mitch McConnell says that is not good enough. And then... They also have $160 billion there for state and local government. And as he closes, he says, that's not good enough. So I don't know what's going on with stimulus because we have our two leaders saying, well, currently Mitch McConnell is saying to actually just scrap the liability protection and state and local government funding until next year. But yet he's meeting with opposition as, from his own people as well as the Democratic Party. I haven't heard Nancy Pelosi's take on that one yet, so we'll find out what she has to say when she actually says it. And another, uh, and the funny thing is, is Bernie Sanders, Democrat Bernie Sanders, basically, and Republican Senator Josh Hawley are both taking, uh, making, basically making big steps forward trying to introduce a standalone bill to introduce $1,200 stimulus checks to the people. Yesterday, Bernie Sanders and Josh Hawley both introduced a, uh, sorry, my page is sticking together on me. Both introduce a standalone proposal for a second stimulus check for twelve hundred dollars, with the exact same qualifications as you did on the CARES Act. In other words, if you made seventy five thousand dollars or less for singles and one hundred fifty for married, plus you also get uh, five hundred dollars for dependents, not including adult dependents, but dependents. But that's going to meet with some great opposition. They're going to try to get it put in and passed next week by Friday at the latest. They're hoping because the government funding bill has been extended until next Friday, the 18th. So basically our government not will, shut, will not shut down until the 18th of next week because I don't know. I mean, these, these senators and these House representatives basically are trying to piggyback stimulus and government funding in one bill and hopefully it'll pass, but yet this will come up with this all the same opposition. Uh, Mitch McConnell says he did not support the $108 billion, $908 billion stimulus proposal because the language in it was not right as far as the liability protection goes, as well as other topics. And Nancy Pelosi also agreed with him on the language as well. Right now, Congress is more concerned with helping big businesses, the airlines, as well as small and medium-sized businesses. Simmons checks for the people are not on their minds right now. This, in fact, is basically not really a warranted concern by them at this present time. Even though they do not realize that Simmons checks for the people keep us alive, and in that process, we keep the businesses alive. So basically, uh, as you see, um, the Congress would rather get themselves funded before they pass the stimulus bill. So let's find out what happens next week because of, as of today, the House of Representatives has actually went on a mini vacation, so I say, until Tuesday of next week. In other words, they're not in session at all today or on Monday, but they will be back on Tuesday. They are talking about staying working and working until even after Christmas is up to get a serious proposal passed into law, but we shall see what happens because as we all know, President Trump is too busy playing his political games and saying that the elections had fraud in them when in fact they did not. So we'll see what happens with that. And talking about the government funding bill, like I said, I mean, they give us a one week extension passed by the house, but the funny thing is, is this, bill that was passed by the House was not passed by the Senate, so it cannot be signed by the President by midnight tonight. So let's find out if that government funding extension will actually happen or not. 
And on COVID-19 news, um, if you look on my way up here, oh, my finger's disappearing on me. Oop, there we go. Oh, there, there. Sorry, bad green screen. <laughs> um, there you go. That's where you'll actually see my uh, all my little post-it notes I like to put up here for you guys to read that I find out that I think you guys find interesting. This is also where I'm going to be posting my COVID-19 news so you can see exactly how bad it's been getting. But so far, we've had over 2,000 deaths Thursday with over 200,000 new cases of COVID-19 on Thursday as well. But until next time, this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. You guys have a wonderful Friday. Please stay safe out there. And remember, we're on this together because basically, we're all we got. And I got to say this to you guys as well. I do appreciate every one of my subscribers and anyone of my, every one of my viewers that enjoys my content and comes back for more. You guys help make my channel a magnificent channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Bye. <music>